Since it gets so redundant to show every aspect of brake work on both sides of the car, in this video I'll primarily focus on things I haven't shown before. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time for me to work on the rear brakes on my Subaru. So this is part two of repairing Subaru brakes. So if you've never done a job like this before, stick around and you'll see how I do it. It really looks like when the mechanic called this rotor rough, he wasn't kidding. It's very rough. But interestingly, in spite of the ridges of rust, on the edges, that center part doesn't really have any ridges in it. It's going to be interesting to see if I can clean this one up. If I yank on that rotor, it's not moving. I'm going to use the jacking screws to pop this rotor out. So you may have been wondering what size are these screws, but they are M8-1.25. That's the, the uh, size and the thread. And by the way, I did release the uh, parking brake on this, so that's not what's holding this. I always use the parking brake because that keeps the parking brake mechanism free and it keep, that's what keeps it working. You gotta use it. I use it every time. And here comes this rotor. That sounded like it was hung on the brake pad, unfortunately. And that one too. All right, that's not good. So I need to adjust the emergency brake back here to release those brake pads somewhat so I can pull the, the drum slash rotor off and that adjuster is hidden under this rubber plug. Which I don't know any other way to get it out but just pry it out like so. And I'm probably going to need two hands for this. Yeah, looks like I got it. There it is. You may be able to see that star wheel adjuster in there. We're going to need two hands for this. I'll try this screwdriver. I think I just made it tighter. That loosened it up. So that star adjuster is right here. 
That's what I was adjusting from behind in the previous shot. Now I wish I had made some video of how the brake shoe adjustment looks from this view. But I'll do my best to describe it. Here you can see the adjustment access slot that I removed the rubber plug from and back. The arrows here indicate individual teeth on the star wheel adjuster. These are the teeth I was engaging the tip of my screwdriver into, from and back. Depending on the particular vehicle you're working on, you can use either a screwdriver to lever the star adjuster around, or you can use one of the many specialty tools that are available to do this. You can see in this diagram how it looks when a mechanic uses it through the back side of the backing plate. The star adjuster barrel, which is indicated by the red arrow, rotates on a pin on one end, indicated by the green arrow, and it's threaded inside. The end of the adjustment mechanism indicated by the black arrow is like a bolt that's threaded into the star adjuster barrel. When you lever the star adjuster, it rotates on the threads, making the adjuster longer or shorter, depending on the direction of rotation. As the adjuster gets longer, the brake shoes are held farther apart, making them tighter inside the brake drum. Conversely, as the adjuster gets shorter, the return spring pulls the brake shoes closer together, making them looser inside the drum. It happens quite often that you'll need to loosen them up a bit to allow the brake drum to freely slide past the shoes as you remove the drum.
The last step was to adjust those brake drum shoes to make them as close to the inside of the drum as possible without causing any drag. This is often done with the wheel put back on. Just tighten the brake shoes bit by bit as you manually rotate the brake drum forward and reverse until it's almost too tight to turn by hand. Then back off a couple clicks to loosen the shoes up enough so they aren't putting any noticeable drag on the drum as you rotate it. After all this work I did on my Subaru brakes, they work and feel like new. With the low miles I'm driving it these days, my brakes should be good for a long time to come. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.